Hi guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Wanted to go over a great new uh, enhancement to the sketching environment in SolidWorks 2014. And this one uh, really comes into play when we're doing uh, geometry like this. Kind of free form, very smooth contour type geometry based on curves and splines. This is a footbed for a stand-up ATV uh, that you may have seen on our website or the SolidWorks website. And uh, we want to, you know, there's no straight lines or arcs. It's hard to put dimensions on this kind of geometry. So what we usually use is some type of uh, photography or digital concept art that we can then use as a guideline for these more freeform type shapes. So we do that with the sketch picture tool, which has been around for a while. And let's just go to fill this pane one more time before we move on to 2014. Let's turn off this great new tool and let's just see how it was done in the old days. So we have our true sketch construction geometry here with some known dimensions that I need to hit and now uh, the sketch picture comes in without any scale information so it's up to me to get it located correctly and then change the size and then once I think I get the size the way I like it well now the positions wrong and then I get to move it up again and as designers we're perfectionists so we tend to probably take way too long way too many passes at this to get it just right but we can't resist it's who we are okay and so we're close and then even now I can still see that in the scanner bed they probably put it in crooked so now I need to try to guess I don't know maybe one degree rotate it up nope too much okay I don't know 0.7 as you can see it just takes a little bit too much uh, too many iterations to get this thing exactly right. So we're going to show how we can make that a lot easier now in 2014. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll bring in it again. And this time we are going to use this great new feature called the Sketch Picture Scale Tool. Okay, so there's our picture again. This time with this blue line, that is the tool. And the way it works is you place it on the model, hopefully Whoever created the digital art has given you at least one good hard reference on there that you can use. Okay, I'm going to place it on the picture. That's step one. Step two is then to take the other point, and you can see here I can even move it at an angle, which helps me for those kind of crooked scans. And we'll place that right at the end of the, of the uh, extension line. Okay, and now since we know what that number is, 825, that's what I'm going to put in, and that's going to scale the tool which is then going to scale the entire picture. So now the picture has, is the right size. And now it's just as easy as placing it. I can even use this tool here. Place that right on the end there. And this is really nice. Again, instead of trying to guess an angle, I can grab this and I can just tilt the picture up with the other end. You can clearly see, yep, that looks good, and we're done. Much less work much less tedious and even more precise. Okay, so look for that and now I've got a great reference now that I can use to trace my splines when I create this geometry. So look for that in SOLIDWORKS 2014, especially those of you doing complex geometry, consumer product type things where you have these freeform shapes. Uh, much more usable now, that sketch picture scale tool in 2014.